Good morning. I hope your work week is starting off incredibly well and that you are running the race God has for you. Recently, I've been getting into the book of Acts and I see two fundamental principles that every Christ follower has to wrap their minds around and embrace. The first one is this, Jesus wants to expand the kingdom of God. In the book of Acts, we see the disciples begin to take the gospel message outside of Israel and it begins to expand to the farthest reaches of the known world. That's exciting. It tells me that Jesus wants to expand his kingdom. There are people that have not connected with him yet that he desperately wants to connect with and we get to be a part of that. That's awesome. God's presence. He wants to expand his, his presence in your life. That's an amazing thing. But as Jesus wants to expand, God's people must do something as well. We have to begin to stretch. We've got to stretch. We've got to be more flexible than we've ever been for the kingdom of God to go where it needs to go. Now, as we're stretching our mind, our heart, our attitudes, there's going to be conflict because as we stretch, we're going to change. As God's kingdoms grows, as God's, people's, uh, as God's people stretch, there's going to be transformation and change. One of the things that we'll wrestle with a lot when we go through that process is identity because we begin to lose who we were to grab a hold of who Jesus is making us to be. And as we do that, it's a, it's a real struggle. It, it can be a struggle on a personal level. It can be a struggle for a church. You begin to see new people influx into your local church body. There's a transformation that goes on. You're going to start not recognizing the church that you were, but you are becoming the church you're called to be. I encourage you, if you're wrestling with this right now, stretch, baby. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't miss the miracle in front of you because you're not flexible. But stretch in God's power so that you can embrace the people in your community, the people at your workplace, the people in your campus, the people in your church. That's today's Ministry Minute.